Hello, I'm Lee and welcome to iMineBlocks. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to mine green using a GPU miner. So this is a miner, it's available for AMD and Nvidia GPUs and it's also for Windows. So you guys have been asking for those things and uh, this video uh, encompasses all of those things that you've been asking for. So just to let you know beforehand, uh, the miner requirements are quite high. You're gonna need a GPU with at least eight gigabytes of memory. So you need like an, an RX 580 um, or higher or a, a GTX 980 Ti or 1070 and higher. So there are the requirements. Um, I'm gonna be using this miner for the very first time in this video. I'll show you a screen capture of the whole process. I've used it previously on Linux and it worked well, got good performance. Uh, the machine that I'm using uh, has a GTX 1080 uh, Ti, so that's what I'm gonna be using for testing. And I'll show you a few of the other uh, performance characteristics that we're gonna be getting. So I'm gonna jump over to the screen capture now and I'm gonna share all of that with you. Okay, so on screen, let's get started. So. The miner that I'm going to be using is this Moz Comor, and it's the Grin Gold Miner. So I'll link to the official uh, GitHub link uh, for you. So there's a little bit of information uh, regarding it. It says that it obviously can be used for AMD and NVIDIA 8GB cards and higher. Um, it says for the RTX um, cards, if you have that series, you need to use it on Linux or Windows 7. It doesn't work on Windows 10. Um, if you're running um, multiple cards or high spec cards, you need uh, quite a good CPU as well. It's quite um, intensive uh, on the CPU. So bear that in mind, if you're, especially if you're running a multi-card system. There is also a 2% fee in total uh, for this miner. 1% goes to uh, the developer and 1% goes to um, uh, the mining fund. So that's it there. So we go to releases and then we need to download this uh, Flornet Beta 2 and we're going to be downloading the Windows 64 version. It says it requires a uh, .NET Core 2.2. I'm pretty sure I've already got that, but um, let's download that as well. And if we go to our downloads folder, I'll run the, um, the .NET Core uh, runtime first just to make sure um, I have got it. So just agree and install. So that .NET has installed. If we go to our downloads folder. I finished with the browser for the time being. So it's this uh, ggm underscore floornet. So we just need to extract that. I'll extract that here and then we'll find the uh, folder. Actually, we'll go and redo that again. I, I swear every time I extract it like here, it always gets put like all the raw files and every time I extract it to a, you know, an actual folder location, it always gets put in like five folders deep or something. So extract it to the folder. Okay. So let's take a quick look at the readme. That's always good practice. So it says run grid gold minus CLI and follow the on-screen instructions. So that's pretty much the same as it was for uh, Linux. So we've got the green gold minus CLI, so we're gonna double click and run that. It's a Windows Defender, so we're gonna run anyway. Just make this window a little bit bigger, be a bit easier for you guys to read. Okay, so it says no config file found, it will be generated now. So this is the same I had with Linux. So it's found one suitable device, so you can see here detected my NVIDIA graphics card. And so what it's asking us is to choose a pool. So I've already used the MW Grim pool previously. You don't have to create an account. Um, 
the account is kind of created um, through this process effectively. So uh, we choose number two for MW Grinpool. And it says enter your email or pool login. So with the MW Grimpool, it doesn't have a um, email address. It just asks you for a username, and that's what uh, you know. What everyone you create. So I'm going to choose I mine blocks um, GPU, and then we need to choose a unique password. So I'm going to do that as well. Sorry, I can't type very well because I've got this huge microphone in front of the keyboard. Enter our password. So now it's created a config file. So it's config.xml and that's got uh, your various um, configuration information there. So now if you press Control and C to kind of um, close that part. Um, if you go back to the folder. Now if you run the, the miner again, you can see that we've got this config XML file. So that's got our configuration in there now. So now if you run the miner again, this time it should start using that configuration file and it should be up and running. So just give it a couple of seconds to settle down. Okay, and it's up and running. So you can see on the top left hand side, we've got four submitted shares. So you can see it's online and we've got the GTX 1080 Ti and we're currently mining at 4.2 uh, graphs per second. So that's slightly slower than with my Linux installation. With the Linux version, I think it was about 4.3, something like that. And using the the other Grin miner, it was about 4.5. So slightly less performance using the Windows um, installation. Uh, it's also worth noticing that some of the benchmarks that I've seen for AMD cards are significantly um, slower. So it's worth um, considering that as well. Uh, just taking a look, um, the for you guys reference, uh, the drivers that I'm using, I think it's 417, yeah, 417.35. And I'm just using the stock um, clocks and um, stock, stock core and also the memory clocks. So there's obviously quite a bit of optimization that we can, we can do for this um, card. I'm not too sure if it showed you the, um, the power usage. When I tested it on my um, on on the Linux system, the graphics card was using about two hundred and fifty watts. Um, so it's probably a very similar story um, for this setup. It says that the um, yeah, sorry, I was just looking at the uh, the power draw as well. So that's fluctuating between sort of eighty and ninety percent. So it's pretty much using uh, most of the card. So there will be um, obviously some optimization and stuff that we can do from here. At the moment, I'm not too sure whether this algorithm is more core or memory intensive. Um, I'll do some further testing and we can kind of find out. Uh, one other thing that I, did I sort of show you? I just wanted to kind of see the, um, the CPU load as well. So I thought I had it in this list, which is the temperature. Let me just um, show you. So in this machine, I've got an i5 6600K. Uh, it says there it's 3.5, but it's actually running at 4.4 gigahertz. Sorry, 4.5 gigahertz, should I say? And we're at about half load. So if you have a older um, machine, yeah, you might notice some um, bottling, a bottlenecking. Um, I'm also using obviously the on-screen recorder as well, so that obviously takes um, quite a bit of CPU load itself. But it's just um, an observation that some of the other guys um, had. Uh, just to very quickly show you the pool uh, information. So if we go to the pool, so it's nwgrinpool.com. Uh, And if we go to minor stats, so the username is the same one that we just used for the minor. So it's block GPU and then our password. Yeah, so from the minor stats dashboard, you can see a little bit more information. I've obviously only been mining just um, for a very brief period of time, but you should see that this uh, picks up. So you've got this C29 graph rate. 
So this is gonna pick up your average workload over time. So at the moment it's running at like 2.93. I expect after um, 10 minutes it will become more um, normalized and you'll see it kind of uh, a better reflection of your work um, in comparison to the, to the miner itself. So it says that we're getting 4.23 within the miner. So your hash rate will build up over time and you can go from there. Uh, one other thing was the, uh, the payments. A lot of you guys have been asking payments. Um, I'm gonna do a completely separate video uh, for the payments because it's quite um, an involved process. It's not, it's not just a standard thing. But from here, there's a, kind of a few different ways that you can arrange your payments and it shows you your payment amount. Um, this keeps on resetting because obviously we're only on testnet at the moment. So I'm not too sure uh, exactly what the earnings stuff are gonna be, but this will be um, how you can um, set your, your payments. Okay, so that's it for this video. Like I say, it's quite quick and easy and uh, fairly focused. Um, let me know in the comments area what your uh, performance benchmarks are. I'd love to sort of see what the AMD guys are getting versus the NVIDIA uh, guys. Let me know what your specs are and what your performance is, and then we can use that as a benchmark kind of uh, going forward. It'll be interesting to see when this project goes live, um, exactly what results everyone's going to be getting and who's going to have the best cards and all that sort of stuff. So let me know all that information in the comments. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.